All right, welcome back. Mr. Bell's Wildcat Math Class. We're doing the Geometry Semester 1 Review, row number 16. If you think this is going to help you out, make sure you click the like button, button at the bottom, subscribe, and make sure you turn your notifications on so that every time I post a video, you'll see it. Leave a comment down there if you want. Maybe I'll read those the next time uh, I do a video. All right, number 16. Alright, given triangle RST, isosceles. Will you do light swings? With uh, side RS equal to side ST. Which point did they mention twice there? S. S. Make sure that's your vertex angle. Okay? The other two are your base angles. So R and T. So see how that works? RS will be congruent to ST. All right, if the measure of angle R is 40, we want to know what's the measure of angle S. So that's our X we're looking for. If angle R is 40, what's the measure of angle T? 40. Also 40 because those are base angles. Base angles my isosceles triangle are also congruent. And we know if we add the three angles up of a triangle, what do we get? 180. 180. So 80 plus X has to equal 180 minus the 80. So angle S is equal to 100 degrees. Questions on number 16? Okay, number 17. Given triangle RST is isosceles, once again, T is mentioned twice. So, R and S. If the measure of angle R is 40 degrees, find the measure of angle S. Okay. Those are base angles. they got to be congruent on the of these triangles. So, the measure of angle S is also 40 degrees. Number 18. We've got a transversal. This is a couple of angles here, angle one and angle two. And the diagram above, measure of angle one is 5x plus 20. And the measure of angle two is 3x plus 16. What do I know about those two angles? They're supplementary, right? So if we combine them, equals 180. So I can combine some like terms on the left. We got 8x plus 36 equals 180. Subtract 36 to both sides. 8x is equal to 144, <coughs> divided by 8, x is equal to 18, and that's not what they want though, be careful. Notice they put uh, 18 in one of the answers, be careful, they want the measure of angle 2. And the measure of angle 2 was 3 times 18 plus 16. So 3 times 18 is 54 plus 16 gives us 70. So it's D. Any questions on 17? No, that was 18. And number 19, same picture. It says the measure of angle 1 is 5x minus 20. Measure of angle 2 is 
3x plus 8, and it wants to know what is the measure of angle 1. Okay, so we'll find x and then plug it in. And once again, those are supplementary. Call these, I guess, same side exterior angles. So 5x minus 20 plus 3x plus 8 equals 180. Combine some like terms, we get 8x minus 12 equals 180 and 12 to both sides. I got 8x equals 192 divided by 8. X is equal to 24. But I don't want X, I want angle 1. And angle 1 is equal to 5 times 24 minus 20. So 5 times 24 is 120 minus 20. So the measure of angle 1 is equal to 100 degrees. Okay. Questions on 19. All right, number 20. Actually, let's just do this. All right, true or false? Angles 1 and 11 are corresponding angles. What do you think? Transversal makes eight angles, right? Probably should be doing this on there. Uh, one and five will be corresponding. So it's not, because they're not connected by a single transversal. This group of four here is not connected by a transversal to this group here. Okay? So that's false. How about number seven and five? Seven and five, are they corresponding? Yes. They would be, right? There's your transversal that connects the two groups together. Five is the bottom left of that group. Seven is the bottom left of that group. So they are corresponding angles. Since no lines have been said to be parallel, there are no corresponding angles in this picture. To 50 people. False. That is correct. There are corresponding angles. Uh, number, letter D. Angles 5 and 10 are alternating interior angles. True. 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 I was thinking it's Right? 5 and 10. This will be my transversal. So these would be my two lines. So they're definitely interior, and they're alternating because one's on one side of the transversal, the other one's on the other side. And letter E. Angle 14 and 11 are alternating interior angles. 14 and 11. Could be true, right? All right, any questions on 16 through 20? All right, don't forget, if you like this video, click the button at the bottom. And we'll see you next time, Wildcats. Okay?